So anyway, this allows you to not have to have the, the yeah, spinning Yeah, it allows plans. you to do these skeins, yeah. like the skeins. Because you're winding it all off of the bobbin yeah. and onto this thing. Or if you've wound something into a ball and you want to reskein it. Yeah. You can do so, that. But, right? Now I have the big kind of round rotating winder thing, but that you can't really travel with that. So this would be good to uh, <laughs> throw it on your back, Leslie. You'll take it with you when you travel because it's tiny and compact and it comes apart. And it was only forty bucks for these two. You know, it's got two different lengths. And it's hand carved wood, yeah. and he's very proud and, and he had lots so of different colors. And, but this yeah. matches my wheel, my matchless. So because um, I don't have a cherry matchless like Lynn, I had to make sure I mentioned Lynn at least one time per episode. <laughs> I um, have this shocked uh, ladybug. Well, I have that, but I also have the that. The winder, the ski winder, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, what you just had. The Nitty Naughty. The Nitty Naughty. Okay. I have theirs, and it telescopes up and down, and it's very fancy and smancy. So that's what mine is. Okay. Well, I think we've already gone over ten minutes, so um, we'll just keep on going, and I'll cut this. Um, <laughs> Was there anything else that you wanted to say? Well, yeah, I wanted to show a bunch of stuff that I've got, because i got lots of good stuff this past oh, week. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I this, have nothing. This is going to be my, my good stuff for this week. And some of it Laura does have. She just didn't bring it with her. So I did not, for the third year, I think, did not get into the Loopy you Sock Club. You need to do a spoiler preface on Yes. This. Okay, so if you're in the Loopy Sock Club light, the you didn't get into the Club Club. Don't be blue kits. Yeah, don't be blue kits. You probably want to skip ahead by a couple of minutes. All right. Now that they're gone... <laughs> So I got that. I'm in the, the light club. So I, I got too. two patterns. One is Wendy Johnson's Dancing Diamonds. Accidentally covering Laura up again. One yeah. is written by Sherry of the Loopy Youth, Kasara. Kasara. I don't know how to pronounce it. Kasara, I think. And it's a lacy scarf. And the yarn that we got, which I hear really, really good things about, but I had never heard of it before the, the flare. Yeah. I've, I had heard of it before the String flare. Theory's Caser. Just... This is Bye Bye Blues. And I really love it. It's actually very soft and squishy. I'm yeah. looking forward to it's using it. It's a cashmere blend, correct? Yeah, I believe it's 20%. 80% um, merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. Yep. So That's um, pretty. I'm looking forward to using that. And also, we got the red O Snap bags, which I've already got a set of the gray ones, but of course, Red Crazy. Love it. So these are the little bags, and they're nesting bags, and you can use it to. Uh, Keep your projects in because it's just a snap bag, so it's not nothing's going to catch on it. I might keep my Norwegian Rose stuff in the largest one of that. On the whole red boat, <laughs> we're not going to say stuff. I walked into my local yarn shop Thursday night because Thursday night is our knitting night. And you have to explain what was going on when you walked into the local yarn shop. They just bought oh, a TV. Oh yes. <laughs> so we just we had a fundraiser for a TV in the shop because we just there just wasn't one in the shop. And so everybody donated, and they got a TV, a flat screen, and um, they had planned on using it for, like, instructional videos to be able to, you know, go to YouTube and show yeah. how to do a Judy's Magic Cast On or whatever. Or they had the Knitting Daily stuff on DVD, right. or Elizabeth Zimmerman on DVD. So I walk in, and as usual, I, I come in late because I work half an hour away from where I live, and then the yarn shop's another 20 minutes away. So I come in, it's about 7 o'clock, everybody else has been there for about an hour, and I hear my voice, and I'm like... <laughs> What the hell? And I go back in the back where everybody's gathered, and Laura and our podcast is up on the TV, and I'm like, "We're in big okay. screen," and I'm wearing the same shirt on the <laughs> that podcast. Was the, that was the best part. And I was wearing that day, and I thought, "This is this is very weird. I feel I feel like I'm in a dream, and I <laughs> I don't understand." What's and everyone's going on. like, "Hey, Laura. yeah, like I'm a superstar or something." So anyway, it's that is I, I felt very weird and needed to leave. <laughs> because it's it's easy for me to do this here because I'm talking to a little tiny black box and I don't have you know an audience of people here, um, and Laura just gets a huge kick out of it. <laughs> I love it when Leslie gets embarrassed. Yeah, it cracks me up. So we were leaving to go to sushi and I saw this um, the new Namaste needle case and Laura's like you're gonna get that and I'm like no nah, I mean it's cute but I don't think I need it so it's just like a little. Uh, you can put all your different circulars and stuff in there and keep track of what size you have, which I really actually need. But I was like, man, I don't really know if I need it. And then I looked at the price, and it was only $20, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I need it. <laughs> so Laura, yet again, was right, and now I'm the proud of owner course. of another red Namaste item. 
I think I probably single handedly you keep have the those wallet, in you have the Monroe, Monroe, the Hermosa. Uh, those are all in red. I have the saddle uh, Malibu bag, I have the brown messenger bag, and I think I have one more, although I can't remember what it is. You have the knit tube. The knit tube, yeah, that we got at the second fling. So anyway, enough about that. <laughs> um, also, my swap partner for spring fling, Dana Mary, when we were getting ready to go to the fling, she didn't have any Vesper and she wanted to participate in the knit along. So I brought her a Skino Twitter painted and then totally forgot that I brought her. Brought her. Brought in her. Brought in her. Wow. That's awesome. I've been in Mississippi too long. Um, that I forgot you had given her? that I had given her anything. And then I got a PM from her the other day and said, Oh, you know, I, I've got you something. It's on the way. So I got my Vinca Vine, which is totally my color. So Dana, I appreciate it a lot and I love it. And I can't wait to knit something out of it. it while she's not looking. No, I'm wise to this. <laughs> so, and my other thing, you would think that I spend a lot of time and money on the internet. I promise, I spend a lot of this time. This is the best part. You have to share the outside. Yeah, too. I do. So, if you're my Loopy Swap Six partner, please just turn off this video cast at this point, at least for the next three or four minutes. So, Laura's sister Becky has a new Etsy shop. Well, it's, it's newish. And I needed something for my swap partner for Loopy Six, and she's crazy about Alice in Wonderland. So I, I emailed Becky and said, hey, I need something. She's a photographer, maybe a camera strap. You know, I don't know. Let me know what you think. So we worked out a deal. We worked out the payment arrangements and everything. So she sent me my package. Look at the cute little, she decorates the envelope. It's very cute. It's very Becky. Yes. So I got my package. Even though it's not for me and I can't keep it. It's lovely. I like her business cards. I yeah. haven't seen those before. So, this is her business card. Oh, what's on the back? It gives you um, care instructions. So, it's got the general <laughs> stuff, and then she just fills in what it should be. Is there a monster? It looks like a monster. No. Right now. It's <laughs> That's funny. So, this is the camera strap that she made me, and she, it's made really well, and the seams are hidden well, and she's got it lined, like, with a cotton, because she says that she has some experience with this, and sometimes when you're taking a lot of pictures outside, you get sweaty and gross, and so that will help absorb any grossness. And it's cute. It's very pink. And she also included... It's out of the kindness of her heart. Because she's very generous and sweet, and we have commissioned her for some other items, like our Ravelry ad. Mm -hmm. And, some and she's doing a Ravelry ad for Tempted as yeah. well. So we're trying to pimp her as much as we can because she's <laughs> She awesome. was calling me her pimp the other day. <laughs> so she also included a little bag. And it's very cute. And it's got a little button on the inside where you can put your project in there. And Anyway, I love it. So thank you very much, Becky. Even though I can't keep it. Um, well, you could. I hope my swap partner likes it a lot. <laughs> Um, so that's pretty much all that I've got as far as... I want to show my little thing that I got this week. Stuff I purchased. See, I purchased something. Because it's, Laura needs another bag. It's from Joann's and it's cute and it says craft, create, and conserve. It was like $2. Yeah, so when I was cute. in Joann's I picked it up and filled it with, um, dishcloth cotton. And, um, which is interesting because sugar and cream now comes in 200 yard skeins. Like little balls. So yeah. more dishcloths. But I'm actually using it to make dinosaur bibs for that. Yeah, for your baby um, shower. Baby shower out. that I was talking about. So I got that and I also got... See, I did have two things. I forgot about this when we were talking about spinning. I got this book. Ooh. Which I'll you've already seen. This, yeah. It's intertwined and you're like, uh, I would never make anything in there because yeah. it's all artsy. It's very yarn. cool. Don't get me wrong. The techniques are very cool. I want to show you It makes me itch make. just, you know, thinking about it. Well, it's just really neat. It's like slubs and kind of cool stuff. And this book did have a different cover and it was out in hardcover and I steal my mom. It's got little sushi felt added. <laughs> How can you resist? They're so cute. Like this. I resist. <laughs> um... So it's all art yarns, but one of my favorite things, what I actually want to make out of here... Oh, that's kind of cool, too. Anyway, um, what I want to make is, it's kind of like a little red riding Love hood. you're trying not to make crazy eyes about this book. It's, <laughs> it's very cool, but it's, it's very this. different. It's the Spin Cycle Third Wave Harf. And a, like a hat and a scarf combined, and I that really, like a <laughs> I really want to make that. I think it's very cute, and it's just uh, 360 yards of um, like a light worsted hand spun. So I think if I get enough hand spun to do that, I have one colorway, 
that I will. And I think it's pretty. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a second and be right back.